What do calibrations have to do with alignments? We're gonna find out next. Many vehicle manufacturers require that a calibration be done after a wheel alignment is performed. It's critical to validate that all the vehicle sensors are in sync to the vehicle manufacturer specifications as to how the vehicle is aimed and steering down the road, as well as the attitude to the roadway or the height and pitch or yaw angles. This is evidenced by some OEMs having prerequisites before a calibration is performed, such as a full tank of gas and a level surface. For collisions that require a wheel alignment due to the damage, the alignment should be done prior to any calibration. What happens if the damage from the crash does not warrant a wheel alignment? This has perplexed the auto repair industry. Do we need to verify that the alignment is correct before doing a calibration? Regardless of the damage, some OEMs go as far as to say that an alignment must be done prior to a calibration and even the calibrations need to be done on an alignment rack. An example would be the fairly straightforward procedure of replacing a grill on a vehicle. There is no damage to the suspension, but a calibration will be required. Is a wheel alignment called for? This depends on the OEM statements for their vehicles. In the mechanical repair industry, when a calibration is called for after an alignment or even tire replacement, it is predominantly customer pay. Could customer pay be a bigger part in the collision industry for collision claims? Customer pays for unrelated services needed to complete repairs correctly? This may be a necessary conversation to have with vehicle owners before beginning repairs as more advanced features come into play. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.